All right, guys, welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and it is earning season. <laughs> that's right, the end of the first quarter of the year is over. <laughs> and that's when companies start reporting their earnings. Disney's doing their earnings column on <laughs> Tuesday. Six guys report their earnings call. We'll do that in a separate video coming up tomorrow. And Universal had their earnings call today. And they said um, a lot. They said uh, one that Universal's Epic Universe will be delayed. It'll be delayed by only a year um, because of this situation. They are gonna lose five million dollars in profits if the parks remain closed for an entire second quarter. That is three months. That's May, June, July. Hopefully that does not happen, but that is a lot of money. The new park was going to open, of course, in 2023, but um, because of the situation, it has been they're temporarily pausing construction. It'll only be delayed at least a year, so that's 2024, so that's about four years from now, or three and a half, which is not that bad, honestly. It could be, it could be delayed a lot longer, and good thing it's not um, indefinitely on hold. Um, because that, like the Star Wars Hotel at Disney World, that's like defunded. Good thing that is not happening to Universal. They're just kind of reorganizing some funds and getting ready, to, getting ready to weather the storm that we're all currently in right now. So yes, they're gonna lose five hundred million dollars if the parks, both Universal Studios, Hollywood, and Orlando, are closed until July or through July. The Orange County Mayor. Uh, Florida is, um, or Orlando is in Orange County, and they said um, they're going to leave, leave it up to the theme parks to decide when to open. Um, they're starting the phase reopening, I believe, today, May 1st, um, and I guess phase two is when the theme parks can reopen, or is when it's recommended for them to reopen. It's really up to the theme park um, companies, so we'll decide. We'll see how they take that, and we'll see if they can reopen really soon, maybe by June. With of course strict protocols in place, they can reopen as long as they uh, adhere to several guidelines, such as 50% capacity and testing or, or screening people as they come in, which of course would would be expected. Though both the Disney Universal will probably go above and beyond in both those things and to make sure the guest is safe. There is currently 300 million dollars, or 300 plus million dollars in construction that is underway on the the epic universe at this time that that is not being on pause it's just the stuff that's coming up after that so <laughs> they have 300 million dollars in contracts which is a heck of a lot of money keep in mind 300 million dollars is more than <laughs> uh radio springs race or radio springs races was 200 million dollars to build so this is more than that so they're doing all that site prep and all that stuff right now. They're going to continue through that. But when that, that contract is fulfilled, then they'll be pausing um, for a little bit, just for a few months. Not They're not pausing for a year. It's delayed by a year. Um, definitely want to make that clear. They're not pausing the project for a year. Just delaying the project for a few months. And by the time they get it going again, it'll eventually be... A year delay. Hope they can get they'll get it going again in the fall, I'd assume. Um, but we're not really sure. But they're gonna finish three hundred million dollars in construction contract construction contracts they have right now, which is good. It'll pump money into the Florida, econ Florida economy, which really needs, it, especially Orlando. Orlando, um, it's all theme parks, really. I mean, people live there. And there's they have downtown Orlando, but it's really a tourist city. It's like it's like uh, it's like a Vegas. Vegas is really struggling right now because there's businesses there, but it's all about the hotels and tourism, just like Orlando, Florida is. So it's good they're continuing to do construction on that project. Um. According to the Universal spokesman Tom Schroeder, they, he said Epic Universal's delay, or Epic Universal's delay, gives contractors, vendors, and Universal creative, creative partners a little bit more flexibility to work together in a rapidly changing environment. He continues going, saying, "This is about timing only. Our confidence in our business, our communities, and our, our industry is as strong as ever, and they're going to share more specifics in a couple months as they move forward." Um. For the rest of Universal's earnings call, 
which was yesterday, my birthday actually was yesterday, I'm 24 years old, now I'm super excited, thank you, all of you who wish me happy birthday, on my social media pages, or on the comments, um, thank you so much, but, um, Universal's theme park review obviously plunged 32% to $869 million, compared to that same time period in 2019, when Universal had $1.3 billion, that's right, billion dollars in revenue, so, $869 million versus $1.3 billion is at least $500 million, which is insane. Um, Comcast obviously owns NBC Universal. Comcast itself is doing okay because it's an internet and cable company, and uh, yeah, internet cable and TV provider. So they're okay. They're still getting money in, which is why Universal is continuing to be able to do construction on these projects because Comcast has the money to pay for it. Um, Comcast did though they shut down the Japanese park in February, followed by the park U.S. parks in mid-March. Singapore was open and they just closed, I think, about a couple weeks ago. Um, Comcast though overall posted 2.1 billion dollars net income, which is a 40% dip from 2019. So even Comcast is taking a kind of big hit, and of course, earnings per share were. 46 cents, which is down 40 percent. But basically, um, that that's it. Universal's Epic Universal is definitely delayed, but hopefully, Universal Studios Florida Islands Adventure and Volcano Bay can um, <laughs> open up soon under Florida's new guidelines, as well as Walt Disney World. It is very important to note that Universal continues to do continues to work on the other construction projects. <laughs> such as Jurassic World and Super Nintendo World at Hollywood, Super Nintendo World in J and Japan. Super Nintendo World in Japan is though expected to be delayed by a few months um, because they don't they don't have to rush because they don't have the pressure of the of the 2020 Olympics they're opening this whole project. The first one the reason why it's coming to Japan first, one because it's a Japanese property and two is supposed to be for the 20 opening time for the 2020 Olympics which have been postponed to 2021, so they don't need to rush, so this can be delayed by a few months. Um, Universal Beijing, though, in China, is continued and it's on time and on budget and ready to open in 2021, which is fantastic. So, what Universal project are you excited for? Are you happy that Universal is um, continuing their construction? Are you sad that Universal Epic, uh, Epic Universe is going to be delayed? Well, your avoided it did not affect your trips anyway. It's good in a way because also it will take years for people to, for people's incomes to kind of become normal and for people to have um, a surplus or disposable income because so much of the country is unemployed right now that I think it's even it's good they're delaying it to 2024 because by then flight patterns and people the economy should be may not be as great as it was before this but it could be enough that enough people have to will have enough people will have disposable income that they'll want to take a fight to Orlando just to go to Universal's Epic Universe. So I think it's actually a good thing as well that they've delayed it. But what do you think? Comment your thoughts below. Um, you can support me on buy me a coffee. The link is in the description below. And it everything you donate goes right back to the channel. Of course to make it bigger and better than ever. And to give you the most best content in the world. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Friday, happy May. Hopefully your stay-at-home order and this will end soon. And subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.